Jumbo and welcome everyone. This is what we're doing today. First up, Africa. <laughs> It's safari time. And so far we've been cruising through this line. Are you excited? Oh, that looks like excitement. Down the line. Safari truck, and there is a huge player here, but there's the baby. Ready, Paul? Yeah. All right. Ready, babe? Ready. As we're traveling to the reserve, remain seated at all times. It's very bumpy out to eight minutes as we do so. Look at those hippos. They finally come out of the river and graze the 150 pounds of grass. Tallest animals in the world, reaching heights of 20 feet. Zebra. To answer the age-old question, they are black with white stripes. You can tell by the noses. Hind legs powerful enough to break the jaw of a lion and provoke it. Spectacoli kettle. Also known as the Watusi cattle, named after the Watusi tribe that domesticated them. Massive horns may look incredibly heavy, but are mainly hollow with blood vessels running to them, regulating their body temperature and cooling them down. They have the largest migration in Africa. Warthog and gazelle interrupt the edges. In balanced ecosystems, there is enough food for everyone. That was such a fun safari. It really was. And the driver was so entertaining. He, he was, was so good. I really, I really, really enjoyed that. That was great. Oh, Saw tons of animals. I saw a ton of giraffes, and I'm so excited. <laughs> it was awesome. Dave, what'd you get? An iced coffee? Yes, he did. Oh. It's mine now. This is one of John's favorites. Komodo dragon. Thank you. Alright, let's go up and see if the tigers are out. Yeah. 
I love this habitat, but I am not seeing the tigers. Maybe they're over by the window. All right, so we're going to the section of windows over here in hopes to see the tiger. We just saw him hide behind a bush, so I don't know if we're going to see him. That could be the only tiger we see today. There he is. Of course, you know, he's not going to turn around or anything, but... Of course, he keeps his head... Beautiful. Okay, I don't know what these are called, but there's some pretty huge cattle, that's for sure. They're water buffalo. They're water buffalo? Thank you very much, son. They're huge. Look at that guy over there. Everybody has water buffalo. Yours is fast, but mine's is slow. So yours is slow, but mine. mine's is fast, but yours is slow. That's all. Man, look at him go. Holy jeez. Oh, it's like little out of there. Okay, we've made it to the bird section of this walking trail. Look at this guy. All right, here's one all the way up in the tree. This is pretty amazing. All of the bird noises in one place. I don't know what bird that is. It seems to be on the other side. Look at your cute little fuzzy head. Get a mohawk. Polly, that's too close. You need to back up. Good job. Mm. I like your fuzzy little head. <laughs> He's a handsome boy. Well, that was a nice, relaxing walk on the Maharaja Jungle Trek. We saw tigers. We saw water buffalo. We saw lots of birds. They're very pretty. Lots of birds. And, um, lots of birds. So we're going to move on to the next thing, which I'm not exactly sure what that is. It could be oh food. Here comes our first flotilla. This is how they do cavalcades in Animal Kingdom. It's very awesome. Hi, Mickey! Okay, so here's something I don't think I knew before. Uh, ducks and dinosaurs are more closely related to cro crocodilians like the American crocodile here than lizards are. As fair, feather-brained as that sounds, it's true. And get a load of this. Ducks, dinosaurs, and crocodilians all lay eggs on land. The average cl clutch size is about 40 eggs for the American crocodiles. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of hungry little mouths to feed. So... Here he is, over here. And Sammy's right there. I'll zoom in a smidge, but I think you can get a pretty good view of this sucker right there. He is humongous. He looks quite happy laying in the sun there. So this is that same uh, chili cheese dog that Dave had at the Magic Kingdom on our first day. And uh, I think John's been wanting it ever since. Yeah. 
Okay, so here at Restaurant Source, they have the cotton head uh, tamarind cupcake. <laughs> So that's a picture of the tamarind on top, which I believe is just chocolate, like a white chocolate or something. They have these little round chocolate things, and it is um, salted caramel filling inside the ganache. It's, so everything is chocolate. It's all chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. And we're going to dig in and tell you guys what we think. All right, so we've got John doing surgery on the outer wrap, and he's actually doing a really good job. I've seen Disney vloggers that can't do this. And there it is, all pretty. And there he is working on the other one. Maybe I should be a Disney vlogger. Maybe you should. That's because you can count there, boys and girls. Because you can, uh, you can work these things better than people who live down here. Okay, so... Paul, if you want some. Do you want some? Okay. Either now or never. All right, somebody, let's take a taste. Do you want it or not? I'm going to cut you a piece. I'm just going in like this. I'm just going to cut this one in half. Mm. Wow. Dan, you want some? You sure? Yeah. It's buttercream icing. It's amazing. Oh, you want to show me the inside, babe? Oh, look at that caramel ganache in there. Oh, wow. All right, babe. I already tasted it. It's freaking awesome. Very good. Delicious. What about you, Ray Ray? You going to try some? Okay. Rachel, you like it? It's so delicious, right? The cake is very new. It looks good. Um, oh, so the cake yeah, itself I is very good. Outlets. I hate news outlets. This caramel sure. ganache inside is awesome. Every picture and the buttercream icing, of course, is delicious. I'm telling you, it's so good. Paul wanted to show everyone his shirt. <laughs> yeah. I asked you a sport. To do this, you were forced by you. No, you were not. Yes, you are. We gave you the choice of two shirts, and you said you wanted that one. Yeah, well, you want to sell it by this shirt. Well, yeah, I said that I, I probably, yeah, I said I really liked it, and I really wanted to get that one. <laughs> Dear, you were there. Did we force him to buy that shirt? We did not use the force on him. No. <laughs> I mean, we encouraged a little, but we sure didn't use the force. I am the favorite child. Does a baby you know that's on my shop? Yeah. Yeah, so he tells me that I forced him. I don't get it. No, I'm the favorite child. says, baby you know that's on my shop. Yep. And he even says, I'm the favorite child. Yep. So that means you are, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're in line for Dinosaur, but Paul wanted to show you his shirt. Introduce us to your little friend. This is my The Dino Institute welcomes you. There's the Time Rovers down there. So we're getting ready to get on. Is I everybody excited? Not at all. Hi, Paul is, I think. 
And I just want to be able to hold on. So I'm going to do that. I don't think Dan is excited though. No, I hate this ride. Okay. Here we go on Dinosaur. The drummers. Yay. We finally get to see them through these trees. Polly, do a little dance with the music. No dance? Mama's dancing. Okay, so a quick update. John wasn't feeling well, so he left. So it's just me, Paul, Dan, and Rachel. And we are in an extremely long line for uh, Everest, Expedition Everest. But... It is moving, and it's supposed to be like 30 minutes, which I think it probably is. That's not a big deal. It might be a touch longer, So but I don't know how the inside queue looks. They definitely have a lot of it going still. Of the inside queue? Of the inside queue, yeah. Well, we'll see what happens, but it's going to be fun. Okay, so we are now walking into Pandora, and this is our first time ever here. On our last trip, we didn't have time. Uh, we didn't have time to stop in here, and it was super packed. So we're coming in from uh, via Africa is the way that we're coming in. Um, very, very nice. No, there was a few minutes ago there was literally nobody back here when we're going through the bridge, and it was very uh, calm and relaxing. So, Animal Kingdom, it's just a lot of walking, and there's no problem with that, but, you know. So, hopefully we're going to get on Flight of Passage, and I do know that I cannot film on that. So, we are in Pandora. We are sitting outside of uh, Santuli Canteen. Um, we have never, like I said, we've never been here before, so we are going to um, try some of the food here. A couple of things that, obviously, we've never had before. Burger, pop. And, uh... We will uh, share that with you guys for sure. Burger in a pod. Pod burger. Bird. I want to know how this works. And I'm getting the uh, blueberry mousse, che cheese mousse cake or something? Cream cheese blueberry cream, mousse. Cream blueberry cheese cream blueberry cheese. mousse. I don't know. We're it's saying it all better. Blueberry cream cheese mousse. Okay. So we're trying that. Okay, right. So you got the cheese quesadilla. Yeah. <laughs> Did you try a chip yet? Um, what kind are they? They're like a they're like a kettle chip kind of thing. Dan said they're wonderful. Mmm. Yeah, they're very good. This is that blueberry cream cheese mousse. Ooh. I love these dishes. Mm -hmm. You just pick it up and eat it with your hand. Yeah. Cheeseburger pod. Here we go. First bite. Mm, so good. How was it? Uh, it's really, really good, but I don't know how to explain that. Uh, Feels like Kung Fu Panda dumplings. Like the way those look. Okay, so... Actually, yeah, it's basically dumplings. Yeah, of course you do. A lot of flavor. Damn! Well, on initial bite, because there's a lot more dough to it, it takes a second for that flavor okay. to hit. I've heard people compare this to the taste of a McDonald's cheeseburger, and that is 100% what I'm tasting. Yeah, until you reminded me about that, yeah. But, but the beef is, is like, mm. it's it's not just ground up burger. It's not that at all. It's, it's something else, and it's... 
It's really, really good. It's a jerk. So I take it a step further. I think this is closer to a sloppy Joe than a McDonald's by completely okay, under. Show them again, the because I don't know if I showed them. Well, that's the initial pop. Right. This is how this is how big it is, and you get two of those. Um. So over here, the moose. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try. That's what it looks like in the, on the inside, if you can see that. Uh-huh. All right, so I'm going to give it a try. Okay, the inside is really good. But this outside blue stuff, I'm not sure. It looks like paint. It's, like, tasteless. Like, it doesn't... Well, but may, the inside is very blueberry. Maybe it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what that is either. Although that has a really good flavor. I just can't, maybe it's a lemony flavor. It's a lemon. That's mm. definitely a lemon, like a lemon a blueberry. A, a straight lemon or like a mm -hmm. lemon meringue? No. It is like a lemon blueberry. Oh. Like it's very blueberry, but it has a hint of lemon taste to it. So it's very, very good. All right. We are gonna finish these. Okay, so. We are out of Satuli Canteen, and we're starting to walk down this way, and wow. Burger pop. This, I don't even know, like, I feel like I don't even know where I am. Yeah, this is wonderful. Wow. That's an incredible oh. waterfall. Yes. Gorgeous. We're going to go to Navi River Journey first, so we're just trying to find the end of that line. And that appears to be the shaman. Yes. That is really cool. We're gonna go back here and get in line. I want that. You guys blue, come that with that us. Yeah. You're in number one and two. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right, you're gonna take both of them. I don't, I don't have control of these. Wait, Mom, you're not going with us? It's three to a row. So this is our first time, guys, on Navi River Journey. And so here we go. Oh, look at that, guys. Wow. Look at these little critters up with the leaves oh, yeah. up top. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, we were stuck for a moment there, but all is well now. <laughs> We won't miss Fire Passage, we'll be fine. But it would have been sucky. Oh, look at this, look at these insects crawling. Wow. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on in here. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful.
So what did you think of that? Oh, uh, it was alright. It was cute. It was a little relaxing boat ride. It was really nice. I like all it of the really technology. Pretty. Yeah, it was beautiful. I like the technology. And that's probably the most impressive animatronic. Even after seeing the Star Wars stuff, I think I'm a little more impressed by that one. That shaman oh, is amazing. I, I still think the, the Elsa one is the most impressive. It is, but I don't know. That shaman's just really good. Okay, off to Flight of Passage for our first time. Here we go. So we are just cruising through this queue. It's so funny. I feel like it's going to take us like forever just to get through this queue. I, I've seen it on YouTube, so I know that it's super long. Um, so, wait time says 30 minutes. I have a feeling that 20 of it's going to be just walking back to the ride. Face coverings must fully cover your nose and mouth and be worn oh, this at is all pretty. times while in line and on the attraction. Guests that do not comply will be asked to leave. Are you looking forward to this? I don't know. Since you're a person that doesn't enjoy soaring. I was looking forward to it, but now I'm here. Okay. And also, that was a long walk. Are you excited? Yes. Okay. Are you ready for it? Hopefully. Yeah. You ready for it, Ryan? Write some provided passage. I think it's going to be awesome. I'm very excited. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before, but you're not allowed to film on Flight of Passage, so I won't be doing that, but we will be telling you guys about it. Fantastic! Flight of Passage. Fantastic. I, I'm in awe. My jaw has dropped. I, I was upset that ended. Did you say when, what did you say about it? Like you're actually there, yeah. yeah. But when the ride first stopped, what was your first word? Do you remember? Um, it started with a B. You said it was that was breathtaking. Yeah. That is a very good way to describe it, Rachel. Very, very good. good that is the best way to describe that ride. Breathtaking. I, I, Amazing. I really hate the ending because it ended. Because it ended, yeah. It was it, so good. It Very was a great place to end it at, but ah, uh, extremely immersive for sure. Very, very good.
guys. I had no idea that was going to be happening. Um, I heard a little, a little announcement. I was in the store. I ran out with my bag, and there it was. So it was not the best because I didn't know it was going to be happening, so I really couldn't get close, and I had to zoom. And So the quality may not be the best, but it was still a little nighttime show, and I loved it. So I tried, but I will talk to you guys when I get back to the resort. So we are back at the resort, um, and I am tired. My feet are tired. I have snack. But um, our first time in uh, Pandora, and uh, first time riding Flight of Passage and Navi River Journey, I thought both were very good. But let me tell you that Flight of Passage was incredible. Agreed. Um, Rachel said it best when she said that was breathtaking. Yeah. It really, really was. Like, Immersive, whoa. too. Yeah, when they say soaring on steroids, they are not kidding. Just but don't, don't pull with me and look around too much. But the, the walk to the attraction, like all through the queue, the queue walk, is ridiculously long. Like, be prepared <laughs> for a very long walk. I mean, it's a walk on for us, but that's just because of how long the queue line is. Right, right. It was a very long walk. Um, what I mean, for us, I think it was like what a ten minute walk, maybe at least minimum of ten minutes, maybe close to fifteen minute walk. Um, and that wasn't even half the queue. Like they cut out quite a bit of the queue, the normal queue, um, because they weren't doing like all the pre-show stuff and it was long. It was really, really long. Mm. Um, it was great. And we got to eat a, a Satuli canteen, mm -hmm. the cheeseburger pods oh, so good. were very good. Um, so yeah, when we come back, we will definitely be eating there for sure. Definitely. Hi, Polly. Hi. What did you think of flight of passage? Very good. Yeah, riding that band, she was pretty awesome, I'm right? Head to the side. Okay, you can do that. Okay. Come on, real quick. We're gonna okay. we're gonna get this ended. Get in there. No I can't hold it out much further. <laughs> I got you. So. Don't worry about it. No, don't worry about it, Polly. I got it. Um, if you guys are new here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Hit that little bell. Yes. This is no notification bell. Ugh, yes. I cannot speak. Yes, so that you are notified when we upload new content and any time that we go live. And where are you going? I got to throw away my wrapper. He's throwing away his wrapper. <laughs> oh, yeah, guys. Did you see my son? Yeah. Yes, they saw it in the vlog. All right. All right, here comes Dan so we can, says, so so we can wrap it up. All right, we are Spencer's Ventures. We're going to see you in the next video. And we're out of here. Bye. Bye.